Okay, we have property number 3. If the Laplace transform is in the form of e raised to a t multiplied by any function of t. Basta kapag nagkaroon ka ng full equation na mayroon e raised to a t, then the other functions na kasama niya will be notified as f of t. Kapag ganito yung form ni Laplace transform, you just have to take the Laplace of the f of t. Tapos, ang magiging silpin ni e raised to a t is kapag natapos mo ng ilang plus si f of t, lahat ng s niya, papalitan mo ng s minus a. Why s minus a? Galing siya dun sa e raised to a t. Naging negative si a kasi positive si a dito. Now, what if you have negative a dun sa original equation? It will become s plus a. Now, for example, you will have the Laplace transform of 2 e raised to 4 e raised to 3 t. In that case, this is your e raised to 8 t. Then you will now have the f of t as 2 e raised to 4. Now, the Laplace transform of 2 t raised to 4 is simply equivalent to t raised to n. So you will now have 2 multiplied by n factorial, which is 4 factorial over s raised to 4 plus 1. So you will now have, this is 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. So this is 4 times 3, that is 12 times 2, that is 24, times 1, this is also 24, multiplied by 2 at the outside, that will be 48, over S raised to 5. Now, in the property of this Laplace equation, all S must be replaced by, you will now have A of 3, so this will be S, minus 3. So all s in this equation must be replaced by s minus 3. So therefore, the Laplace transform of the given function is 48 over s minus 3 raised to 5. So this will be your final answer. Then for the next example, you will now have the Laplace transform of 4 e raised to 3t cosine of 5t. In this equation, this is your e raised to 8t. Now the f of t is 4 cosine of 5t. Now you will take the Laplace transform of the 4 cosine of 5t you will now have 4 multiplied by the Laplace transform of cosine 5 t is s over s squared plus 25. So you will now have 4 s over s squared plus 25. Then all s must be replaced by s minus 3. So therefore, you will now have 4 multiplied by s minus 3 over s minus 3 squared plus 25. So simplifying this equation, your function of s now, or the Laplace transform of the given equation, is 4s minus 12 over, now this is s squared minus 6s plus 9. So you will now have s squared minus 6s. Then 9 plus 25 is 34. So this will be your Final answer. Then for example number 3, 
Let's say you have the Laplace transform of e raised to negative two t sine of two t. Now this is your e raised to a t. Then for the function of t, you have sine of three t. Then to take the Laplace of the sine of three t, you will now have a which is three over s squared plus a squared which is 9 then you will have to replace the s by this one so this is negative so it will be s plus 2 so the f of s now is 3 over s plus 2 squared plus 9 so this will be s squared plus 4s plus 4 now your final answer for the function of s or the Laplace transform of the given equation is 3 over s squared plus 4s and 9 plus 4 is 13. So this will be your final answer. Okay, next example. Example number 4. Let's say you have the Laplace transform of 3 e raised to t hyperbolic cosine of 4 t. Now this is your e raised to a t. Now the f of t here is 3 hyperbolic cosine of 4 t. Now taking the Laplace transform of 3 hyperbolic cosine of 4 t you will now have 3 multiplied by s over s squared minus 16, which is 4 squared. So you will now have 3s over s squared minus 16. Now all s must be replaced by s minus 1. So now the f of s is simply 3, then this is s replaced by s minus 1 over the s minus 1 squared minus 16. Now simplifying this equation, s minus 1 squared is s squared minus 2s plus 1. Now the f of s or the final answer for this equation is distribute this one you will now have 3s minus 3 over s squared minus 2s then positive 1 minus 16 is negative 15 so this will be your final answer next example is the Laplace transform of 5 e raised to negative 3 t then the hyperbolic sign of 2 t. Now this is your e raised to a t. Now the f of t is the hyperbolic or the 5 multiplied by the hyperbolic sign of 2 t. You will now have the Laplace transform of 5 hyperbolic sine of 2t is 5 multiplied by a which is 2 over s squared minus a squared which is 4. So you will now have 10 over s squared minus 4 where in all s must be replaced by s minus a. In this case, this is negative 3t. So you will have to replace all s now s plus 3. So the f of s is 10 over s plus 3 squared minus 4. Now if you expand this one, you will now have s squared plus 6s plus 9. So for the final answer of this equation, you will now have 10 
over this is s squared plus 6s then 9 minus 4 is positive 5 so this is your final answer then for the last example example number 6 you will have to take the plus transform of 2 e raised to 3 t multiplied by 4 cosine of 3 t minus 5 sine of 2 t now this is your e raised to a t and you have to distribute the 2 now you will have 2 f of t now under your linear property pwede nyo silang paghubalayin then applying the form of e raised to a t you will now have first f of t that is a then cosine of a t now you will have to take the Laplace transform of this you will now have the Laplace transform of the first f of t that is 8 multiplied by cosine of 3t that is s over s squared plus a squared which is 3 squared that is 9 so all s must be replaced by s minus 3. So the Laplace transform of the first function of t is 8 multiplied by s minus 3 over s minus 3 squared plus 9. Now this is your number 1. Then for the number 2, you will now have the second f of t which is 10 sine of 2t. Now the Laplace transform of the second f of t is 10 multiplied by sine 2t that is a which is 2 over s squared plus a squared which is 2 squared which is equivalent to 4. Now all s must be replaced also by s minus 3. Now you will have your 20 over s minus 3 squared plus 4. Now for the f of s or for the final answer you can now have the first which is 8s minus 24 over now if you simplify this one this will be s squared minus 6s plus 9 so you will now have s squared minus 6s then 9 plus 9 is 18 then the sign between them is minus then corresponds si the f, f of t number 2 so that would be 20 over now this is also s squared minus 6s plus 9 so you will now have s squared minus 6s then 9 plus 4 is plus 13 so this will be your final answer.